Hello, beautiful souls. So today we have a pick a card reading on who and when your next relationship will be. So I have three piles. We have pile number one with this yellow butterfly here, pile number two with this pink butterfly here, and pile number three with this green butterfly here. Go ahead and choose your pile. Timestamps are in the description and I will see you in a moment. Bye now. Hello, beautiful souls who chose pile number one with this yellow butterfly here. This reading is for you. So pile one, we're going to find out all about your next relationship. And the first question I want to ask spirit is what kind of personality the, the person that you are going to date next is going to have. So let's find out what kind of personality are they going to have? What kind of person are they? What kind of experiences have they had? Who are they? Who is this next person that you're going to date or be in a relationship with? Okay, we have Guide in Reverse. And we're gonna read a little bit more into that in a second. Let's find out a little bit more about the person pile number one is going to be in a relationship with next. Let's find out a little bit more about the person pile number one is going to be in a relationship with next. And we have gambler, willingness to follow intuition even when others doubt you. I'm just going to get a couple more. Mystic. Rebels in intimate union with the divine. Child mm. one's next relationship. Who is the next person they are going to date? Destroyer, releasing what is potentially destructive, preparing for a new life. And I'm going to get one more for the personality cards. Oh, Spirit wants me to get more than one card. <laughs> we had three flop out. Okay. So I'm going to move them over then to make a little bit more room for our extra cards. So we also got Trickster, Transcending Convention, Stuffiness, and Predictable Behavior. I like the magic imagery there. It looks like it reminds me of the magician. Victim prevents you from letting yourself be victimized or victimizing others. And queen radiates the regal feminine, uses her benevolent authority to protect others. Okay, so I'm definitely seeing a few interesting messages here. And I'm seeing this as a bit of a journey for this person. So I'm seeing that this person at the beginning of their life, and possibly if you guys already know this person, possibly this might be how you know them now, how you knew them in the past. Yeah, or how you used to know them. But what I'm seeing that is that at some point in this person's life, they were very not spiritual. They didn't come into a spiritual family, I'm hearing. Um, they didn't really believe in spirituality. And they really prioritize their work life and their finances over spirituality is what I'm hearing. They, yeah, they are very a career focused person, really wanting to maybe build a business, um, people who want to become CEOs, I'm hearing, people who want to be the boss. Just really prioritizing finances I'm seeing like over anything else. And just like really, really stuck in a 3D where they're like just very work oriented. It's how sort of they started off their life or how they used to be. And they were also a person they could still be now who just like really liked to take risks so um they like even just in gambling and stuff they might not have been afraid to gamble in order to make money that way they wouldn't have been afraid to get involved in the stock market they wouldn't have been afraid to um take a big risk or go for a new career or drop everything all of a sudden to follow a new path because they just they had a lot of trust and they they really knew how to jump and go after things. I'm seeing that like that's something that they came into this life with. Like they, um, 
like for some people they might take this person as impulsive somebody who just like goes after what they want without really thinking it through or um or somebody who takes risks and then has a lot of failures because of all the risks they take but i'm hearing from spirit that even if like other people interpret it that way this is actually a gift this person has this is actually something positive that they brought into this life and something positive about them this might kind of help you identify who they might be if you do know them already um but as life went on they did have a spiritual awakening and they became much more in touch with the divine. They became much more in touch with whatever they decided to believe in, whether it's God, whether it's spirit, whether it's spirituality. I feel like they came, they went through some kind of awakening where they became much more connected to um, the universe and whatever it is they chose to believe in. Um, and because of this, they ended up releasing a lot of negative patterns from the past. So one of the things they released is this completely being involved in finances and prioritizing finances over everything else. They released that so that they can make a better life for themselves. I'm seeing they also released, released old beliefs, destructive patterns, anything that was holding them back. They really went through the time to do that shadow work, to go through that effort, to make themselves a better person. And because they let all of this go, what I'm seeing is that they actually became very good at manifesting and have got really into manifesting and really into the law of attraction is what I'm seeing. And this might be more in the present moment or more how you would know them now if you met them today or how they will be when you do meet them. But they will be very much into manifesting um, what they want and really going after their goals that way through spiritual endeavors. I heard unconventional as well, especially this gambler card. This person took like a lot of risks. They did, a, they might do a lot of things that other people think is strange or odd or even weird, um, but it really works for them. I'm seeing, and it really helps bring in what they're trying to manifest, what they're trying to achieve in life, even though it seems like really odd and out there to others. This person might be a bit quirky. I'm hearing. Um, and so part of the things that they may have let go of as well and this there's good there's two different messages i'm getting and it could even be both for you but one message i'm getting is that this person like went through trauma in their life they went through times where they were the victim they went through times that were really hard on them and for a while they may have even like really stayed in that victim energy where they just felt like they um weren't quite powerful and strong enough to go after the things they wanted in life they weren't good enough for it Again, they were very unconnected from source for a period of time I'm seeing here and they might have thought that like they'd only have self-worth self -worth if they made enough money. Possibly even they needed enough money to try to escape their um, current situation could have been part of their life path as well. Um, but yeah, they're very money focused, unconnected with the divine, so they felt very alone is what I'm seeing. and. They felt very unsafe and people could have taken advantage of them. I'm hearing that they could have been bullied, especially if they are quirky, as I said. They may have been bullied in school um, or just treated bad by their parents in some way. Um, but with all this purple and blue here, I'm and even purple over here, I'm really seeing that in the present moment or in the way that you're going to meet them their third eye chakra and their crown chakra is going to be lit up like they they could be psychics or they could just be very connected to the divine or very just very spiritual people like they've really opened their eyes they've really definitely had a spiritual awakening is what i'm seeing um and they've kind of moved on from this past energy but part of their life path was definitely being victimized in some way um another message i'm getting with this victim card is that you um, you may have went through some experiences that you found hard yourself as well and they may ask um, and you may be in a, this sort of energy where you're finding it hard to go through life or you're finding it or you're finding yourself stuck in sort of that victim mentality where you're um, again feeling like you can't achieve things feeling very poor self-worth um, feeling like you're alone in the world feeling sad um, I heard PTSD too, like you might be having flashbacks at this time, you might be feeling depressed, um, you might just be having a really hard time letting go of the past when you meet this person, and this person could even help you um, release that energy, um, release old beliefs, old thought patterns, really begin to get to this place where you love yourself again. This person could really help you with that is what I'm seeing. Um, 
And if that's not the case, then you guys may have just simply went on similar life paths and you may have done that for yourself before you actually meet this person. It's going to be different for each of you. But I'm definitely seeing that this person is going to, whether you went through this energy before or sort of at the time that you met meet them, this person is going to help you get to the energy where you really look at yourself as, um, and this is going to really depend on whether or not your um, next relationship is going to be a masculine or a feminine. It's going to be different for each one of you guys. Um, but so if I'm going to say if you are a feminine watching this, um, and this is whether you're dating a masculine or a feminine, but if you are a feminine watching this, um, what I'm seeing is this person really makes you feel like you are in your power. This person helps you feel like you are confident, like you are worthy. I'm hearing that they're like, it almost feels like they worship you, but like not even in a bad way, just in a way that they really take care of you. They really make you feel like you're like the most beautiful person in the world. They make you feel like you are absolutely amazing. Like I heard kiss their feet. Like you just, they're just going to make you feel so, so happy and so cared for and so protected by them is what I'm seeing. Yeah, they're really going to help you feel like you have so much self-worth being with this person. Um, and the other message I got is that if this is a feminine and you are a masculine, so if you're a feminine dating a feminine, then it goes both ways. This person's going to feel this way and they're going to make you feel this way. If this person is a masculine who is seeking a feminine and that's you, then I'm getting that this person is going to make you feel this way. And if they are, and if you are a masculine and you are dating a feminine, then what I'm getting is that this person went through this sort of victim stage in their life, this sort of um, hard time in their life where they were sad and lonely, and they got themselves out of it into a space where they felt more confident, where they felt more in their power, where they felt more strong, where they felt like they really controlled their own life again. And as I said before, if it's a feminine dating a feminine, then it could just simply go both ways. This person got into their power and makes you feel like you're in your power as well, which is really nice. Okay, so now that we know a little bit about this person's personality, this person's life history, I'm going to ask Spirit a little bit about um, when you were going to meet this person. I want to find out a bit about when you were going to meet this person. Kyle, one. When and how are you going to meet this person? When and how are you going to meet this person? So we have between worlds in reverse. Interesting. When and how are you going to meet this person? soulmates oh guys that's beautiful so this person is your soulmate so be a very this um this connection is meant to be this is definitely meant to be in your life and it could be that long life partner energy that is meant to last forever that's beautiful message in a bottle I'm going to get one more before I read the message about when and how you are going to meet. When and how are you going to meet this person? Regeneration in your verse. So right off the hop with the imagery, I'm seeing that there is potential that this person could call you I heard also find on social media, message you, communicate in some way where you're not physically there. So again, social media, messaging, a text message, a phone call. Um, you may actually meet this person out of person first is what I'm seeing. That You might meet this person in a way that you didn't actually encounter them in person before you met them. If this is a person you already know, um, then this person might give you a phone call or give you a message or give you a text message. And that's how you guys are going to sort of reunite. Okay, with this card, I am seeing, this is interesting. 
So one message is that you might meet them after you go through a transition. So maybe you've um, maybe you've went through something similar as this person went through, as we talked about earlier in the reading, where you've sort of let go of negative thoughts and moved into a more positive mindset. Maybe you've um, let go of the victim mentality and moved into a more blissful mindset. Maybe you've even moved locations. Um, traveled in some way, moved away from something is what I'm seeing, and it could be mentally or it could be physically. Um, but yeah, when something was let go of and you moved into a new state, that is one message I'm getting from this card. Um, I'm also hearing moved back. Interesting. So some of you guys moved back home, moved back to a stage that you used to be at. Um, maybe even caught yourself in some old habits that you thought you had released from, but you have to re-go through for some reason. Interesting. Okay, so moved back might be some of the energy I see here. Um, might even meet them during a retrograde. I just heard as well a Mercury retrograde or another retrograde that causes you to have to re-examine past events. Um, so the other message I'm getting with this card here is that you might meet this person when you are re-examining sort of what you want in a relationship or when you've done the work of re-examining what you want in a relationship. So for some of you guys, like in the past, when you were younger, it might have been really important that the person like was really attractive or had abs or muscles. And now as you get older, you realize that that's not as important to you anymore and that you would rather have somebody who's committed to you, who treats you really well, um, who's a very compassionate person or somebody that you um, are very compatible with. So you might be re-examining sort of what you want in a relationship around the time that this person comes in, or you may have done that work and that's sort of what manifests this person. Um, the other thing I'm seeing is that to be careful, because like I said, this person is your soulmate and you're going to feel very strongly connected with them and you're going to feel very pulled into them. You're going to feel like super happy and excited right away. Um, just to be careful with your energy to make sure that you're not projecting um, who you want them to be onto them instead of seeing them for who they really are. So, for example, um, you may have always like wanted somebody who you may have always wanted somebody who like cares a lot about you and thinks that you're the world and loves you so much. So, in the beginning of the relationship, when you feel this like really strong energetic pull, you might like think that they're in love with you before they actually get the chance to even fall in love with you because you haven't built the foundation in that connection yet. Or you might um, always have wanted somebody who's really successful, who really goes after their goals in life. So even though maybe at the time they're working a um, a job that doesn't make that much money, you might kind of tell yourself that they're like working on something in the background or that they're going to change that or that they're going to build this amazing life and then you might find yourself later disappointed with who they really are because you've sort of projected this on them. Um, I'm also seeing that for some of you guys it's just like that was sort of your past energy and that's how relationships went in the past and that you've worked on that so that you're not projecting things onto this person in the present moment and that's sort of why you manifested them as well is that in the past you used to um, work through that. See what I really like about this card here as a soulmate card is like see in the background it's actually not that bright and shiny and you see the way that they're like holding each other. See I really get from this card that it's not just about things being happy and blissful and joyful when you're with your soulmate. It's about the fact that you have somebody who's there to take care of you, who's there to hold you, who's there to love you unconditionally even when it's cloudy out, even when you guys are going through poor weather, even when things aren't the greatest, this person's going to be here for you. I'm seeing that you guys will be able to handle the ups and downs together. You guys will be able to go through both the challenges and the wonderful times together and that this person's really going to love you unconditionally. Yeah, I'm seeing that this was definitely really meant for be to be. I heard like made for you, like you guys were meant to be together. Oh, that's so beautiful. And with this card message in a bottle here, um, the other thing I'm getting with it is that, and what this card really talks about, is getting signs and messages about your person from the universe. So really paying attention to like things like spirit animals that are telling you signs about when the person is coming, or um, telling you when you're in flow, or even angel numbers, or even certain flowers, certain, certain symbols. 
whatever whatever resonates with you. Um, I'm sure you guys all have your own way of communicating with your spirit guides and know what kind of symbols um, mean something to you. But I'm seeing that like whatever it is that you think that you're going to see when you see your soulmate, you're going to see signs and synchronicities about them to let you know that they are coming, to let you know that they're coming into your life, um, to let you know when you're in flow with this person, to let you know when you need to pull back your energy a bit. Um, I'm hearing that your angels and guides are going to be very involved in this and that they're really going to help you along this journey. And I'm also seeing that if you're confused at all with uh, what you should be looking for, you can just ask your spirits and guides about what um, what things that you can be looking for or what messages you could be um, seeing. You can even say to your guides, um, show me this type of bird three times to show me that this person is my soulmate or this person is the one. or um, show me show me a heart-shaped rock if i if i should ask this person out that kind of thing so i'm seeing that you need to be very much in communication with your spirit guides okay and with this card here i'm seeing that you will have needed to let go of something before you can allow this person to come in so a couple of different examples one is that this might be a relationship from your past that you had to let go of in order to create this soulmate bond with them in the present moment Another one is that you had previous relationships in the past that you had to let go of um, so that you could find this person. So it could be a different relationship than the one you're getting into. Or that you have let go of other major things in your life. So maybe you've let go of a certain job that wasn't serving you. Um, maybe you were on a symbol similar path as this person you let go of your need for finances over everything and became more spiritual. Um, but I'm definitely seeing that you need you'll need to let go of something to make room for this person um, and that will be part of your journey that when you're in a state of really being able to accept endings and take them blissfully and be okay with the fact that not everything's last meant to last forever that's when I'm seeing this person will come into your life is when you have done that Next, I'm going to use some astro dice to tell you a little bit more about specifically what time in the year you could see them, um, when you will meet them, and what astrological sign they could be. So I'm going to use the astro dice. Let's see, pile one's next relationship. Who will they be and when will they meet? Pile one's next relationship. And this one fell over here, but it is a seven. Okay, so we have Capricorn, Uranus, and the number seven. So with the Uranus energy, we can also definitely have Aquarius in here as well. So your person could be born in, so your person could be born anywhere from late December to late February. So anywhere in between those months. Um, we also have with the seven that they could be born in July as well. Or that they are born on the 7th so one of these dates in these time periods in the 7th or this is when you will meet the person this person so you could meet the person in the beginning of the year so around now um, you could meet the person in July you could meet the person on the 7th or their birthday is within one of these time periods I'm also seeing that some other things about your connection are that, again, when I said about the quirky energy from earlier, that this person definitely is a bit different than your typical person. They might come off as odd at, at first, they might come out, off as a bit weird at first, but this is actually a really positive thing about this person. They are different from other people. I'm also seeing that, yeah, they are definitely very hardworking. When they've set their mind on something, when they have a goal, they'll definitely go after it. They'll definitely... Um, push for what they want and that the connection between you guys is actually very spiritual it's a very much a spiritual connection and you guys are really meant to learn and develop together as well so part of your journey will happen before you meet them but then you will actually continue to have your journey together and even level up I'm hearing um, through this connection this person's going to help you learn and grow I'm seeing that you might become more comfortable with being even your true self or being your quirky self I'm hearing through being around this person because this person's so comfortable in their own energy that you might feel more comfortable being yourself by being around them or that might be something you experience before you meet them thus making you guys really compatible. 
Okay, next I'm going to get some messages from your person from this little bucket here. So these are all song lyrics from different um, songs, most of them pop songs or popular songs that people hear on the radio so that everybody knows them. Um, but I'm just going to get some song lyrics and the song lyrics is a message from your next person that you'll be in a relationship with. Let's see what we get. One more. Oh, we got two more. Okay. And it says, I found a reason for me to change who I used to be, a reason to start over new, and the reason is you. And this is from the song The Reason by Booba Stink. Oh, beautiful. So yeah, you guys may have actually known this person before. And um, when you knew them, maybe they were a little bit too focused on their career. Maybe they weren't making time for you, or maybe they... Uh, I'm hearing maybe they're being selfish a little bit and just too focused on other things in their life. And when you left them and had to let them go, as we see in this card here, they they learned that they're gonna have to make some changes in their life to make room for you and to make this connection really work. I'm seeing that they definitely went through a huge spiritual awakening because of this. If that's your story, if not, then um, it's possible that this person changes and becomes a better person within your relationship just by being around you and being around your energy. The next one is, I saw the signs and I ignored it. Rose-colored glasses all distorted, set fire to my purpose and I let it burn. You got off with on the hurdin when it wasn't yours. Yeah, we always go into it blindly. I needed to lose you to find me. Oh, that's exactly what I was just saying. Okay, so for a lot of people, this actually is a past relationship for sure. Um, and this can go both ways. This could be your energy as well. But yeah, I'm seeing that this person really wasn't seeing the connection clearly. They weren't seeing the potential with you. They weren't seeing you as... Um, they were taking you for granted is what I'm hearing. They weren't seeing... Um, how beautiful this connection really was and once they lost you they realized that they're going to really have to work to get you back and that they're going to have to make changes in their life and they're going to have to become a better person and they've decided that you were worth it i love this line here too set fire to my purpose and i let it burn um not the exact meaning you get from the song but in this case i'm seeing that this person had to really reevaluate their career choices. I think they were spending too much time on it. They were too worried about money. They were too worried about growing, especially with all this Capricorn energy too. They were too worried about building themselves and they really let themselves um, get misguided in this connection where they weren't prioritizing what they should have been prioritizing. And it may have actually resulted in them having to let go of that career specifically and moving on to something else because it wasn't working out or even just making big changes in their life if they did choose to keep the career. Um, I'm also seeing that they may not have even saw their purpose, so they might have so they might have had their purpose right in front of them and, and had that opportunity to go after their purpose, but were too worried about money and ignored what they were actually meant to do and what their soul was calling them to do. I don't want to do this anymore. I don't want to be the reason why. Every time I walk out the door, I see him die a little more inside. And that's Unfaithful by Rihanna. So what I'm getting with this one is I'm seeing that this person may have left you because they felt like they were hurting you. Like they felt like being with you or having you stay in the connection was hurting you and they can see the pain on your face and they didn't want to be with you anymore. So this person may have actually broken up with you because they couldn't stand hurting you anymore and they knew they weren't the best person for you. So through leaving you, through letting you go, they went and made the changes that they needed to make in order to be a better person to you because I'm seeing that they felt like they weren't a good person to you when they were first with you. Again, if that's your message, though, I'm getting that very strongly. So I think a lot of you guys, this really is a past person. And I'm sorry if you don't want to be with an ex. I totally feel you on that. Um, but this is just what's coming up from spirit. Um, yeah. If this is a new connection, I'm getting that this person isn't going to maybe want to hurt you the way other people hurt you. They're not going to sit there and let you waste away or be drained by the connection with them. They're going to want you to be happy. They're going to put you first is what I'm hearing. And they're not going to hurt you the way that you got hurt in the past. So sad here. I'm seeing some of you guys actually were cheated on, which is really unfortunate. And I'm sorry if that is your situation. But... um. 
And if you were cheated on, by the way, I'm not getting that that's the person you're going to end up with. Not at all. That's for those of you who are going on to new connections. But um, yeah, this new person won't do that to you. This, per this new person is going to... Um, I'm seeing because of your soul connection and it being so strong, this person is going to really feel your energy and really pick up on your energy. And they're not going to be able to hurt you because they're going to feel it so deeply when they hurt you that they're just not, they're not going to allow themselves to do that. Or they're going to really beat themselves up if they do allow themselves to do that to the point where it's, it's not going to be happening again. And the last one is, I'll keep you my dirty little secret. Don't tell anyone or you'll be just another regret. My dirty little secret. Who has to know? All American rejects. Oh, interesting. I did not see this one coming out. Okay. Um, with this one, so this one tells me that maybe in the beginning you guys are going to keep it hush hush a little bit, or you're not going to really tell people about what you're doing. You might sneak around a little bit, especially if this is an ex, and I totally get that where, um, if you're with an ex, you might not want to tell everybody that you got with your ex again because you're afraid of like people's judgments or what people are going to say, or you're afraid that like you're going to let their energy and opinions sort of get into your connection. So you might actually want to keep it to yourself so that you don't, um, so that you don't uh, let it affect you, let it affect you and this person's connection. So you might just, it just might be um, a secret for a little while. Um, another message I'm getting is that you might actually look at this person as a regret. So because this person, like if this person was your past person and you're, this person wants you back now, what I'm seeing is that you may actually like look back on them and think like, I regret, um, I regret being with this person at all because this person turned around and hurt me. Like I didn't have good enough boundaries. I should have told them, um, where the door was. I should have left when I was still feeling good about myself before they ruined my self-esteem I'm hearing um and that for some of you guys you like you're really being hesitant about this connection because you feel like they were actually a regret um and then for others of you again I'm seeing that this person and this is actually for everybody if it is the past person this person regrets how they treated you they regret the mistakes they made in the past they regret what they did whatever happened in this connection I'm also seeing that in the past they may have kept you a secret and that might be one of the ways that they felt like they really treated you bad like they kept you as a secret and they wouldn't let people um and they wouldn't let like their friends and family meet you and stuff like that and you felt like you were just some dirty little secret or like you weren't worth it and this person really wishes that they didn't do that because they saw the way it hurt you and they regret doing that okay lots of messages with that one okay and finally for our last message in this, I'm going to take some letters so that you can figure out what letter their name could start with, or even just additional messages that start with these letters. So we're going to take some letters and see a little bit more. Okay. All right, we got two Bs. We have an O, a Q. Yeah, for some of you guys, this is your X. I use the X letters almost exclusively to say that this is an X, so um, hopefully that's not a bad thing for you guys, but um, Spirit is definitely saying that you may be having an X coming back, but I mean, they seem to be really connected to you and they seem to be committed to treating you well and they seem to be sorry, so maybe hear them out. Maybe it won't be bad. Maybe it'll be good. I've got some K's here. There's an O, there's a Q. See, for the Q, I just got the queen message again. This person's going to definitely make you feel like you are a queen. They're going to make you feel so special. We've got a J, got a P, an E, a D, and a Y. Okay. So I heard Jack, James, um, Peter, Ben, I'm getting a lot of male names with this. Okay, Brianna, Cody, especially if it's spelled with a K, um, Diane, Eddie, Kieran, Kira, Kim, Bob. You can actually fully spell Bob, so double message if you have a Bob. Bobby, I also heard, because we also got this Y here. Deb, 
Debbie. I see the word job. So this person is very committed to their job. I see deep. So this person, that could be a name, but also this person could, um, you could be having a very deep connection with this person or you feel like this person is very deep when they talk to you. We have boy. This person could be a boy. Maybe you knew them when they were a boy. Your boyfriend as well. This person could be your boyfriend. Maybe some of you guys are watching and this is your current boyfriend. I heard Jedi, so this person could be really into Star Wars. This person could also like go by like little nicknames like BJ. Oh, well, you know, there's that. PJ. Also, DJ. This person could be a DJ. That could be their career or that could have been their career. All right. And that's all I got, my lovely pile number ones. I hope you enjoyed this message and... Good luck with your next relationship. Bye now. Hello, my beautiful souls who chose pile number two with this pink butterfly here. This reading is for you. Okay, so pile two. Let's find out about who is the person you're going to have your next relationship with. Let's find out a little bit about their personality. Who are you going to have your next relationship with? Who is the person you're having your next relationship with? Ooh. We have detective. Great powers of observation and intuition. Desire to seek out the truth. Interesting. You know, right away with this, I actually got life path seven. So that, that might resonate with you that this person has a life path seven interesting so they might be really into spirituality um or just really curious about the world around them we also got prostitute but in reverse so it says places material considerations and security above self-empowerment okay so that message i heard that this person um and i'll definitely get more into these messages as we get more cards but I heard that person that this person might um, struggle with anxiety, particularly anxiety about their money or their finances. They might feel like they're going to lose their house, like they're going to lose their car, like if they don't play it safe, they're not going to um, that they're going to lose everything they have. That sort of energy, and this might be an energy they got over as well. We'll find out a little bit more. Let's find out who is this person that Pile Two is going to date. Who is this person that Pile 2 is going to date? I'm also seeing that they really might like reading or learning. Interesting. Who is this person that Pile 2 is going to date? Who's the next relationship they're going to have? Aw, companion, loyalty, tenacity, unselfishness. Oh, that's adorable. So this person's going to make a very good partner. So they're gonna be very loyal to you. They're gonna be, they're gonna put your needs first. They're really gonna to wanna to nurture you. They're really gonna to wanna to care about you. They're really gonna to wanna to make you feel good and confident and happy I'm seeing. They're gonna love you unconditionally. I'm seeing that they might be very sexy as well. So they might just like um, give off that vibe of like, they're very sensual is what I'm hearing. It's beautiful. I'm also hearing this is a very mature connection. I'm seeing that this, um, you might be having this relationship a little bit later in life therefore it's just like you guys have both matured and therefore it'll be a very mature connection and if you're younger then the connection will just be mature which is good seeing that this person like really sees through illusions too and then they might be very intuitive so like they might be like kind of like a human lie detector where they just like know when someone's lying and will really like call them out on it um, I'm seeing that they could also work in like the police field or like a detective field or in something that requires like a lot of problem solving. I'm seeing that they very much value the truth and they're the type of person who would probably like not be happy with you if you were to lie to them or hide something from them. So honesty is definitely going to be a big part of this connection. We have Virgin maintaining symbolic purity of heart and spirit oh my goodness that's funny i said that this was going to be like a mature connection but then right after we get the virgin card which is really interesting so maybe for some of you guys this is like going to be a mature later in life connection but for others of you guys this is your first connection possibly 
I'm definitely gonna get a little bit more cards before I read into that one. So I wanna get them all and get a good picture of this person. We have, I can't pronounce that, but I'm gonna say Dolalante. And it says, delights in the arts without having to be a professional, alerts you to the danger of becoming superficial in your pursuits. Well, that's nice. This person's like an artist, might be really into like painting, drawing. Oh, I'm also hearing this person's very grounded and very real. Like they, yeah, they like like really hard honesty I'm seeing. Um, they want you to be authentic is what I'm seeing. I'm seeing like authenticity is like top priority for this person. They want you to be your real truest self. They don't want you to be some fake version of yourself. They don't want you to be superficial or trying to fit in or trying to be what other people want you to be. They want you to be who you are. Like they love you unconditionally. They love you for who you are as a soul I'm hearing. We have Prince, romantic charm and potential for power. Well, isn't this the reading that everybody wants? <laughs> Sounds like you've got like Mr. Mr. Romantic, Mr. who's gonna take care of you. Um, this is of course, if you are dating a masculine, if it's a feminine, then you've got Miss, um, you've got like this girl who's like really like, um, really bright, really innocent, really caring, really like compassionate about her pursuits. She's very honest, she's very transparent. She, um, she just loves life. Very fresh energy I'm getting as well. Some of you, this person is very balanced in their masculine and feminine energy because we have both here. So this person could just be very balanced, I'm also seeing. Um, they could also resonate with simply just not having a gender. Um, I know I'm kind of going on off of gender norms here um, to make, try to make it resonate with what you'll actually see in this person, but they very well could just kind of have both. Seeing this person could be a leader in their work or they could be working on becoming a leader. Yeah, funny, I said this was going to be a mature connection, but now I'm actually getting the opposite. I'm getting that for some of you guys, like, you're actually quite young, and this is actually one of your first connections, but I heard the word mature because it's actually going to be a lot more mature than maybe some of the relationships you see your friends have, or you see other people have. Like, it's actually going to be a very stable, a very good connection, even if you are young, I'm seeing. So young or old, it's going to be very stable and a very good, positive connection. Yeah, some of you guys are just that lucky person who's gonna kind of find the one <laughs> right off the hop I'm seeing here or find somebody amazing to spend your time with at least if it's not the one. I'm seeing this person could be a bit shy as well. They might not like to talk a lot or they might keep to themselves a bit. A very innocent person I'm seeing. I'm seeing like a person who... It's funny, like it's like this weird combination between having a lot of life experience but also being like really innocent, seeing things new. Maybe they went through some kind of like transformation where they really like healed themselves and really, um, really let go of all their past energy so that they did kind of have a rebirth and that's why they come across as so innocent, so pure. I'm seeing this person definitely has the potential to be successful though, to build their career, to really make a good living. But they've kind of got like their toes in many different ponds I'm seeing as well. Like they're they're both artistic and they're they're curious and they're intellectual as well. They've got their intellectual sides and their creative side. Very balanced I'm seeing. Or that maybe in this connection, you guys will bring the balance together. So maybe you resonate with being like a fully like artistic type of person. This person's going to be more of the logical type. That could be it as well. But I'm definitely seeing it's more like just in this person, they have kind of both sides. Yeah, this person's definitely very kind, giving, loving. They want to build like a family. They want to build something safe and secure. They're definitely like the type that you would marry and like have a house and then have children with, I'm seeing. They might write poetry as well, plant flowers. They might like to spend a lot of time in nature or bring you to spend a lot of time in nature. Oh my gosh, we got bouquets of flowers in two of these cards here, I just noticed. So this person's definitely going to be the type of person who buys you flowers, like really romances you off through your feet. They're going to make you feel like so loved, so loved. Oh, I'm also seeing like if this is not your first relationship, I'm seeing like it's going to feel like it's your first relationship. It's going to feel so fresh and new that you're going to feel like you just fell in love for the first time again. You're going to wonder like, was my last relationship even really love? Because this feels so much better. They'll really like sweep you off your feet with your words I'm seeing as well. They're, like, they're going to just say such kind, loving things that you're just going to feel so comfortable in their presence. Oh, this is so beautiful. Okay. Let's find out a little bit about how you guys are going to meet. 
find out a little bit about how you guys are going to make a pile two, pile two. How are you guys going to meet? How are you guys going to meet? Okay, we have boundaries. Where do you need to establish better boundaries? Oh, interesting. Okay, I'm gonna get a couple more messages. Take a break, a life's work, not a season. Get off the treadmill. All right, so I heard you guys might meet on vacation. So you might meet when you are not working. Um, I'm also hearing maybe when you're unemployed or between jobs. Oh, also with the treadmill thing, you could actually just like meet them at the gym or meet them while you're on the treadmill. I'm seeing you can meet them at like a time when you're feeling really drained, when you're feeling like you're not being like kind of supported by the people around you, when you're feeling like kind of sad, when you're feeling like you have a lot more people around you that are taking from you. Um, or even at a time when you've really done the self work to give yourself better boundaries, when you've worked on your boundaries, you might meet them after that. I heard empath as well, so I'm hearing like this person might be an empath, so you guys might actually meet in some way. Like I'm hearing like empath form um, online, just like talking about empaths, like something like that, like where you might actually like meet online because you guys both resonate with being an empath. That's definitely an interesting message. You might meet at work as well, I'm seeing. Especially if it's at a time when you're feeling like overworked at work, you might meet at work. Okay, let's find out a little bit more about when and how they meet. When and how do you meet this person? You have share your voice, come out of the cave, persecution, expression. Oh, that's such a beautiful card. So definitely traveling is coming up again. Like you might travel to somewhere that like feels really magical and feels like really peaceful. And that's like you kind of meet them on this vacation. And transformation. Things are changing at a cellular level, deep healing. So I'm seeing, yeah, when you guys go through a transformation, I'm especially as it resonates to becoming like your truest self. Um, so some of you guys, like I said, this person really wants to see you in your own energy. They don't want you to be like trying to be something for somebody else. They don't want you to be pretending at all. Um, yeah, this person wants you to be your truest self. So you may have gone through like a transformation where like in the past you were kind of trying to fit in or you're trying to, um, or you're trying to be like something that you really weren't. Um, and it's when you let that go and when you decide that you're just gonna be who you wanna be regardless of what people think or what people want you to be, that's sort of when you're gonna attract this person in because this person really wants you to be in your own power I'm seeing. Yeah, I'm seeing when you do some inner healing, you might meet this person when you get back to your own power, when you feel very strong, when you feel very good about yourself, very confident. This might even have to do with like going to the gym and taking care of yourself. You might be sort of in that like very confident, happy energy and that's sort of when you meet them. Um, it might be while you're speaking up about something as well. Um, I heard social media as well. So some of you guys like have social media accounts where you're like speaking up about something you went through um, or something you experienced. And that might be sort of how you meet this person. I also see like all these stars here. So I heard like a wish on a star. So maybe you guys have like wished for the one to come or you've wished for a relationship and like that's this person, like your angels are answering your wishes. Yeah, I'm seeing like when you're brave enough to say what you want to say and you don't really care what other people think, that's when you're going to be in the energy that can attract this person. Okay, so beautiful. Okay, I'm going to get one last message from the tarot. Okay, pile two. What do we need to know about their next relationship? Pile two. What do we need to know about pile two's next relationship? We have the five of voices. Three of inspiration. So the three of wands. Pile two. What do we need to know about their next relationship?
Yeah, so I'm getting that this person, like, they either help you learn how to do this, or you learn how to do this before meeting this connection. I think it's different for each one of you guys, but I'm getting that this person helps you or you get to the place before meeting them of being able to really stick up for yourself verbally. So like if people are trying to bring you down, people are arguing with you, people are trying to make you into something you're not or telling you that you're not good enough the way you are, when you get to the point of like being able to say, um, you know, that's enough and setting those firm boundaries and saying, no, you can't treat me that way. I deserve to be treated better than this and like really being able to walk away from that and saying like no no one's going to treat me that way or i hear what you're saying and i don't appreciate it you need to respect me that sort of energy where you're just like really able to verbally stick up for yourself i'm seeing that's what's going to attract this person in or that's sort of what they're going to teach you throughout the connection um I'm seeing that this person also might come into your life when you have really learned to fill your own cup again. Like you may have gone through a period of time where you felt like your cup was empty because maybe you were giving too much to other people or you were just too involved in their energy because you were allowing them to create you into what you were supposed to be instead of just being yourself. And it's when you learn to love yourself again and to really take care of yourself again that this person's going to be attracted into your life. Yeah, I'm definitely seeing more self-care vibes here even with this. Like look how, look how like, blissful is look how happy she is like you really created a new beginning for yourself and that new beginning is going to attract more people in new opportunities in i'm hearing you may have just like started a new job when you meet this person or that this person may help you start a new job or a new career or a new passion project um but that you'll definitely be in like kind of this transition stage in your life when you meet them you'll be moving from like one journey to the next and again, I'm definitely seeing like travel as a possibility. You might even be on vacation and taking a break in between two journeys as well. I'm seeing that when you're okay with like things falling over or things like crumbling or things falling apart, like when you're really okay with those tower moments happening because you shared your voice, when you're like, I don't care if this person leaves my life forever, they're not going to treat me that way. That's the sort of energy that you will need to cultivate in order to sort of attract this, um, this person in when you're just like really in your own power I'm seeing. Okay, so next I'm going to use our use some astrology dice here to figure out to figure out what astrological signs they could be born in or what sort of seasons and time frames that you guys can meet. Okay, so let's find out. See what they sent me here. Okay. So we have Aquarius. So yes, definitely this person could be an Aquarius. We have an eight. And we have a female. Interesting. Okay, so this could be your next relationship could be with a woman or someone who's really in their feminine energy. Um, I'm also hearing somebody who really respects the feminine energy I'm seeing. Like somebody who like just like really appreciates it as well. Could be a possibility for you guys. Or somebody who balanced their masculine and feminine energies. Especially if they're a masculine. Somebody who allowed more feminine energy into their life in order to balance themselves out. Yeah, so this person could be an Aquarius, which means they could be born in February. I'm also seeing you guys could meet in February, which is around now. So congrats, you might meet them soon. Um, you could meet them in August or they could be born in August. Um, or also I'm hearing February 8th could be an important time for you. Um, or that this person could also be a light path, a life path eight as well. We all already covered that they could be a life past seven as well. Um, and that this person could just be like very successful, very abundant. As I said, they really have like the potential to be a leader. So they might not be there yet, but I'm seeing that they like definitely have the potential to make money, to be stable, to really get to the top of that tower, to really be very career oriented. Okay. And next, I'm actually going to use this here. And this just has a bunch of song lyrics in it from some like common songs that everybody will kind of know. Um, and they are messages from your person to you, or so things that they would say to you if they could. So we're going to find out what would your person say to you? Here's a message from your person. Oh, one flew out as I was shaking. So we're going to throw that one right there. Messages from your person, pile two. What do we have? Perfect. 
Okay, so for your first message, we have one step at a time. There's no need to rush. It's like learning to fly or falling in love. It's going to happen when it's supposed to happen. And we find the reasons why one step at a time. Aw, that one's beautiful. I definitely like really am getting, because this is a song I used to listen to a lot when I was like younger and I hadn't dated yet and I was feeling like my relationship's never going to come. I'm never gonna find somebody. So for some of you guys, like this really is your first relationship. Um, and you guys have just felt like you've been so patient waiting for them. Um, for others of you guys, it's just that your relationships really haven't worked out. They haven't been who you wanted and you feel like you've been waiting forever to like have this person in your life who really treats you well, who's really kind to you, who's really actually loyal and respectful. And you've just been so patient and this person's finally coming into your life. Um, I'm seeing that patience as well is going to be really what's going to bring them in and that the relationship might go slow at first, but like that's okay. Just really enjoy it. Really savor the moment I'm seeing. We also have, but I can't make you love me. Is it my life or the things I do? Can't make you love me. I'm just a girl with a crush on you. Uh -huh. So again, if you guys are date or um, interested in somebody female, this person couldn't really have a crush on you right now and might feel like they're going to be rejected. This could, of course, be male or female, but strong female with that one. Um, but yeah, this person might have a crush on you before you guys actually get together and they might be afraid to make the move. I'm definitely getting like that shy... Um, being a little bit scared to approach you kind of vibe and I was getting that earlier as well so this person kind of like might be like staying in the might be already in your energy might already know you but might be just kind of like afraid to um, approach you and might think that you'll reject them I also have it's not now or never wait 10 years we'll be together I said better late than never, just don't make me wait forever. That's the less I know, the better by Team Impala. Impala. Ooh, interesting, okay. So maybe you did reject this person I'm seeing and um, maybe you just told them that it was like kind of bad timing for you or you just like weren't really ready for a relationship yet and this person's like kind of really hoping for a second chance and they're kind of like willing to wait for you. I'm also seeing that this person could be like, and this might be why I got mature and younger energy. So this could be someone that you didn't actually date when you were younger, but maybe they had a crush on you when they were younger or you had a crush on them when you were younger and it just didn't really work out. You guys never ended up in a relationship, but you guys kind of like find each other again later on. So you find each other like either on a trip or you find each other, like as I said, at work or at the gym and it actually works this time and you guys can actually be together and you're like i never even thought about this person like having a relationship with them but um but now sort of your chance to make that happen or now or now it's going to work out and it's just kind of meant to be at this time i'm seeing like it could have just like not been meant to happen back then but it is meant to happen now that's so beautiful seeing for some of you guys it really could have been actually 10 years in between <laughs> That makes so much more sense. I'm so happy that came up because I was like really confused with um, the innocent childhood energy combined with this like mature energy. Um, it still could apply that it's just like they have both, but um, yeah, it also could be a situation where you knew them in childhood and they grew up. And we also have this message standing on your mama's porch you told me that you'd wait forever oh and when you held my hand i knew it was now or never those were the best days of my life summer of 69 oh my gosh total vibes of this person is from your childhood this is crazy i'm just getting like multiple messages for it that like you really could have just known this person as a kid and maybe just didn't consider them or maybe you guys like tried it for like a little bit of time and it just didn't work out and you guys are back together now but i'm really seeing that there's this like huge like like there's this huge distance in between you guys that like, you guys have like, became completely different people in between meeting them back then and meeting them now um and i'm seeing that like you guys may have even said to each other like wait for me or wait until i come back or maybe like somebody traveled and left and you're like wait for me don't worry we'll make it work later and this is going to be you guys like making it work again. It's like a little romantic movie. <laughs> um, 
yeah, this person like might even like be still in your life, but be like willing to wait for you. Like they're waiting right now. They're just waiting for you to give them the call. They're just waiting for you to let them in. Oh, this is so cute. Some of you guys just like could have even been like a summer love as well that sort of dwindled off or it was just like very temporary or very like fast. Some of you guys knew each other back in school and all you did was hold hands and you guys like were too young to actually do anything else. So cute. Okay, and for our final message, I'm going to use some letters and I'm just gonna get some letters to tell us additional messages, but also like initials that could be in their names, what their name could start with, that kind of thing. Find out, pile two, who is your next relationship going to be with? Okay. So we have an M, a Z, a K, a C, ooh, an A. I got Mackenzie. Also Mac, so their name could be Mac, um, or have Mac in it somewhere. I also heard like Big Mac, so maybe you guys kind of have like a little inside joke or you guys like to hang out at McDonald's. Ooh, maybe you guys met at McDonald's. Maybe this was like you were working like in McDonald's in school and you guys kind of like flirted and then um, split up ways and like meet each other again and are able to make that a relationship. So cute. Um, I see Cam. We wrap these around. This person's name could be Cameron or Cam. Um, you guys could also like to take photos together. Um, someone could be even like on YouTube or on TikTok. Have to use a camera for their job in some way. We also have Zach. Let's flip those these around. I heard Gabe, Gabby, I heard Casey. Kayla, Kaylee, games. So maybe you guys like to play video games together or you guys play like board games together. Maggie. And of course you guys can use these to make whatever initials you like too. Um, Maya, Zane, Zara, myself gay. So maybe some of you guys are the same gender. Um, Gail, I also heard of the name. We also have Bay, so maybe you guys meet by like the lake or by the water, or by the beach. Back, this person could come back into your life. We have maze, so maybe you guys like meet in a maze or go to a maze together, like a corn maze kind of thing. May, oh, I didn't even see that. So this person could have the last name May, or you guys could meet in May. I see bake, so maybe you guys like bake together or cook together. Bag, cab, this person could drive a cab. Um, maybe they drive Uber, like, like I said, I'm getting some young energy, so um, they could drive an Uber now, or they could have drove an Uber like maybe through school or something. Or you guys took Ubers together, maybe when you're going to the bars or that kind of thing. Macy. I also see bank as well, even though we don't have the N. So this person could work in a bank. Um, or they could just make a lot of money. Okay, that's all I have, my lovely pile number twos. I hope you enjoyed this message. Bye now. Hello, my beautiful pile number threes. And if you chose this green butterfly here, then this reading is for you. Okay, so Pile 3, let's find out about your next relationship and what kind of personality traits you're, the person that you're going to be in your next relationship with has. So who is this person that you're going to have this next relationship with? What are they like? So we have King in reverse. Before I read that, I'm going to get a few more cards. Ooh. We also have Mother in Reverse. This is such an interesting message already. Okay, let's find out a little bit more about this person. We have Bully. 
highlights your tendency to intimidate others, helps you confront the inner fears that bully you. Very interesting message so far. Okay. Let's keep going. What do you need to know about the next person you will be in a relationship with? Bio number three. What do we need to know about the next person you will be in a relationship with? Bio three. Who's the next person you will be in a relationship with? We have Destroyer, releasing what is potentially destructive, preparing for a new life. We also have Visionary, capacity to envision what is not yet conceivable to others, willingness to proclaim vision without regard for personal gain. Storyteller, ability to experience and express life through stories and symbols. I feel like I have room for one other card here, so let's get one last message about the personality or who they are. We have Messiah, serving humanity with humility. Okay, so what I'm getting from these cards right off the bat is that you may have gotten a very bad first impression from this person. Like, I heard that you feel like they were spoiled, enabled. I heard, like, they might be very rich and wealthy. Like, they may have came from a family that just had a lot of money. Um, and so you might actually, like, not be attracted to this person right away because you might feel like they're a bit self-centered. Like, they just, they don't have perspective when you first meet them. Like, they haven't really went through enough hardships or challenges in life. They, you feel like they're the type of person who sort of, like, had it handed to them. Um, other messages I'm getting is that they, they may have had a mother who was overbearing, um, who tried to control them, who didn't really let them be themselves. Um, a mom who didn't let them be independent, a mom who didn't let them grow up, I'm hearing. This person could be very childish when you first meet them because it seems like they're behind in some way. It seems like they're not quite an adult, even though maybe they should be by their age. Um... Yeah, you definitely feel like this person feels like they they sort of like deserve the world, like people should just give them things. Or at least that's the impression you get on them from them when you first meet them, or maybe that's actually who they were. Um, I'm seeing that they may actually like, at the beginning of their life, actually not get people who didn't come from wealthy families either. They might think that like they don't work hard, or they're lazy. They might say like a lot of really mean, harsh things about them. Um, they might like have this belief that they think they're better than other people. Um, yeah, be very self-centered is what I'm hearing and have like really overprotective parents as well is what I'm getting from this. But that they do overcome this is what I'm seeing as well. So as they go through life, they overcome this and they really re-examine their beliefs, their way of that they're looking at life. Um, they may go through a spiritual awakening and this might be what a spiritual awakening is for them is to release sort of these energies in their life and they get to this part, this point where they start feeling much more empathetic to people, they feel much more caring, and they become this person who, they become more compassionate about the world, that there becomes something in the world that they, and with this messiah card here too, something in the world makes them want to change, makes them want to help the world in some way, they want to, they want to have some kind of cause, they want to really like, help people in some way they might even use their money from early in life to create some kind of cause or create something that really betters the world but they definitely have this like big awakening that causes them to change i'm seeing with the story teller card card as well that in their early life or when you first meet them you might even see them as like a liar or an over exaggerator or somebody who really like tells stories to try to make themselves look good um but that they change that as well and i actually use that to their benefit later in life they might even write books or share knowledge through writing or th share knowledge through songs things like that definitely seeing that they get to this point where they really want to help the world in some way they get a cause they get a passion project they go through their purpose where they're just going to try to help the world in some way um they gain a lot more humility i'm seeing they realize that like they're not better than other people that um everybody's got their journeys and experiences and that they can love everybody for who they are 
lots of growth I'm seeing with this person. This is actually like really beautiful that this person was able to change their mindset so drastically despite growing up the way that they did. Yeah, this person might even be an author or somebody who writes books. Or they just might be a very have a very charismatic personality. This might be something they had their whole life, but they might have a very charismatic personality where you talk to them about something and like you just like feel so um, entranced in it. The way they say things is just so interesting and fascinating and entertaining is what I'm hearing. They might just have a very entertaining personality naturally. Wow, so beautiful. They really just like went through this like big change in their life. Let's find out a little bit more about this person. Okay, pile three, let's find out some more about your person. Pile three, let's find out some more about the person you will get in a relationship with next. See, this person might have even like grown psychic gifts, that sort of thing. They might have had like a psychic awakening where they became clairvoyant or opened up their third eye chakra or opened up their crown chakra. But they became much more selfless, I'm seeing. Might have even used their money to create this cause or create this direction that they decide to go in. Complete transformation I'm seeing. Okay, let's find out more about the next person that file 3 is going to date. Let's find out more about the next person that file 3 is going to date. We have the nine of voices in reverse, which is the nine of swords in reverse, which is funny because I was actually, as I was shuffling, I was just reading this line here, helps you confront the inner fears that bully you, which makes perfect sense with this card. So this person like had to get over their anxieties, had to get over their fears. Um, they might have even had some like fears of their mother or of their parent who was too domineering. Um, especially this cane reverse card too. They might have even been both parents who are really overly controlling and domineering, but it could have been their father or their mother I'm seeing. Um, and so it got them to this place where they were like sort of scared to be independent, scared to do things for themselves. And they developed a lot of anxiety from that, a lot of anxiety with making decisions and stuff. And I'm seeing that they got over this and that's a big part of their life's journey. We have Magician in Reverse. Yeah, I'm just seeing the same message again, that they had so many harmful beliefs that were like making their life not easy. A lot of beliefs that were making it hard for them to move forward in life, beliefs that were holding them back, beliefs that were keeping them from the life that they could be living and that they get over this and that's when they meet you. Oh, wow. This is such a huge journey for them. This is crazy. This might even be like family habits. Like maybe their fam their parents were treated the same way when they were growing up and that's why they sort of treated this person that way and that they've sort of like ended the ancestral pattern of treating their children that way of like, like I'm seeing parents who were really demanding, had really like high expectations, like really wanted this person to do something with their life and but like didn't say it in like any kind of encouraging way. We're just sort of like, no, you need to do that. You need to always be working. You need to be always trying hard. You need to make money. You need to be going, going, going. Like they were the type of parents who just didn't like want their kid to sit down and want their kid to stop like working hard and want their kid to stop studying. Like just super wild expectations is what I'm seeing here. And this person like gained these beliefs about themselves that like they weren't worth it if they weren't working or they weren't worth it if they weren't successful or they weren't worth it if they weren't making money and this really plagued their life for a long time i'm seeing and then they had to get over over that as well i also have the emperor in reverse yeah that's exactly what i was just saying like very domineering personalities around them and they may have became this themselves where they felt like they were very controlling but it might not even been in a I want to control other people kind of way like it could have been I'm seeing that energy as well but also even just like really trying to control themselves all the time and really trying to make themselves something that they're not or really trying to make sure that they never mess up on anything that they're always perfect like I'm really getting like strong anxiety from this um yeah let's see what else we got We have the King of Swords, which, yeah, would be like the same message. Just domineering, controlling, like this might have even been the person that this person was when they were younger or before they took this transformation. 
native voices. Yeah, their parents are very authoritarian, I'm getting. I'm definitely, like, before I was getting, like, mom vibes with this one, but now I'm actually getting, like, dad vibes, too, where, like, the dad was really domineering and the dad was really controlling. So maybe it'd be different for each person, but... Or if this is a masculine energy, they became very controlling, possibly because of a controlling mother figure. And the other one that popped out was the Ten of Wands in reverse. Yeah, they had to learn to move away from all of this. They really had to learn to just, like, I'm seeing that they may have, like, just completely up and left their family and, like, lived on their own and, like, maybe even cut them off in some cases. Um, but I'm seeing, yeah, there was a transition here. There was a move. Like, they just got up and left and they left real fast. And that's sort of what changed their life. Um they might have even said something for their parent to their parents or said something to the people that they left behind um, that sort of like ended things. Not getting a lot of energy on what that message was, but they might have said something before they left. Yeah, but I'm definitely seeing that they became this for a while for a lot of them. Might not resonate with everybody. Maybe for some of you guys, this person just went through this and then didn't become it but for some for a lot of you guys i'm seeing that they really took a lot of this energy on and actually became it a bit themselves to the point where they were might have even been like really cruel people like in their early life and then it was just because of how they were being treated and how they had always been raised and just like no perspective on the outside world and they gained perfect perspective on the outside world and that's sort of what made them want to change some people I'm seeing that it was like a trip that changed their mind. Like they went and traveled somewhere and like they they saw real people, had real experiences. That actually makes sense with this card too, that they, yeah, they, they, they left home. And when they left home and they saw like the real world, they realized, you know, how they were being. They realized like how, how it was affecting people, how like they shouldn't have been treated the way that they were treated and how they wanted to live differently. I'm seeing that they had to release a lot of burdens, a lot of, yeah, a lot of toxic energy I'm seeing. They were like just so bundled up with toxic energy and they had to release that. And that was a huge part of their life is to realize that they didn't have to be working all the time. They didn't have to be moving all the time. They didn't have to be taking on too much. Um, that they were able to relax a little bit, just actually enjoy life, have more fun I'm seeing. And then we have the night of inspiration. So yeah, they went after what they love. They took action to go after like this cause or this inspiration or this new direction away from where they came from. They went after something that they were more passionate about, something that they loved, something that they cared about, like a new spark was lit up in them when they became more compassionate, when they became more caring, and it changed who they were. Okay, do we want any other messages about this person? Do we want any other messages about this person? Yes, we do. Okay, other messages about this person. How about how they will meet? Let's find out a little bit. We got, um, just as I was asking that question, we got discipline in reverse. So this person had to realize that, like, I'm seeing like they had their, like, logic goal parents too. So maybe, like, within their, like, sort of spiritual awakening, they realized that, like, they could balance logic with, like, emotion and intuition and things like that like it didn't have to all be logic creativity i heard too um but another message i got like is like they were disciplining themselves to a point where like they were over controlling themselves they weren't allowing themselves any freedom and they learned to let some of that go they learned to allow themselves to live a little bit more allow themselves to be a bit more free okay let's find out how you guys will meet so we have pleasure <laughs> interesting let's get a few more cards so you might meet while you are doing something really fun, while you're at like a at a party. Um, yeah, like I said, this person like learned to get to a space where they can enjoy themselves more. So you guys might actually like while they're traveling, while they're trying new food, while they're doing something they wouldn't normally do, while they're being silly in some way. I'm seeing like dancing out in public, like that kind of thing. Uh, like, like we got this like picnic basket here. Maybe you guys meet on some kind of picnic. Um, or you guys have a date that's some kind of picnic, really romantic. Um, but yeah, you guys definitely meet while you're having fun or when you're in a fun space. We got new beginnings. So yeah, it's definitely after this person's transition that you guys meet. 
We got suffering in reverse. Yeah, when they learn to release this suffering, when they learn that like they don't deserve that anymore. That's when it's going to open up this new door so that you guys can meet each other. I'm seeing that you could meet this person at night. Again, I'm really getting like party vibes. So you definitely could meet them at a party. Um, you could meet them like while looking at the stars or something to do with stars. I heard like Hollywood and celebrities like that kind of stars too, which is funny. Like that's really specific, but maybe like while you're visiting like someone that you're a fan of or while you're um, at a concert possibly, that kind of thing, or like a meet and greet. Or maybe you do take a trip to Hollywood or California or something like that, LA. That's very specific though, so that won't apply to all of you. We have truth. So maybe you meet this person like right when you find out some kind of major truth in your life. Um, I want to clarify that a bit. Why is truth here? Why is truth here? We have justice in reverse. Okay, so that's something to do with um, with your karmic pattern. So maybe you've released some old karmic patterns or some old karmic habits. And this has like resulted in you really seeing the truth about things, truths about your childhood, um, truths about who you really are as a person, things that you didn't know about, even like a secret being revealed, that kind of thing. But it's kind of like part of your karmic path. So I'm seeing that like when you do some shadow work, when you really release some of these old past energies and see things for how they really are, like that's sort of what's going to bring this person in. So I keep wanting to see like actual places and times for these cards, but spirit keeps wanting to tell me your life lesson or your energetic place or your time and place in your spiritual journey that you're going to meet these people. Spirit says what they want to say, I guess. We have leadership. So maybe when you're taking the lead in your life, when you get some kind of promotion I'm hearing, um, when you feel at peace with yourself, possibly while you're like um, spiritually awakening yourself, you might meet this person when you feel like you're really raising your vibration or your vibration gets really high. After you spend some time in solitude or some time to yourself, I'm seeing, they could end up in your life as well. But I'm seeing it would be like after you move yourself out of that energy. So you go through that solitude time, you look within, you really get to know yourself, you find out those truths. And then when you're like kind of ready to exit and to move out of that, that's sort of when this person will show up. I'm just gonna get one last card regarding how you guys are meeting. Okay, we got two. And we got unconditional love. Aw, oh, that's beautiful. So this person's like really going to love you. Um, really going to care for you. I'm hearing when you have unconditional love for yourself, actually, that came up as well. That when you really have unconditional love for yourself, this person's going to be ready to come into your life. Um, I'm seeing that you could have a child with this person or you might have a child with this person in the future. And then we also got victory. So yeah, I definitely got that again, like during some kind of promotion or when you become like successful in your career, this person might just kind of show up around that time when you really like take a big step in your life, I'm hearing. So some kind of big step, something that you've been trying to manifest, something that you've been really hoping would be successful. Um, when you take that step, that's when you're going to meet this person. Um, I'm seeing for some of you guys, and that's why maybe I heard that kind of star earlier, is that some of you guys are like hoping to be on stage in some way or hoping to be a star. Um, and so when you like get up the courage to start that career, when you get up the courage to move forward in that, or when you have some big progress, like maybe you got a lot more viewers if you're like doing social media in some way, or um, your show or performance that you're in became really popular or something like that, then they will show up in your life around then. Maybe they were in the audience and hearing as well. Very specific message. Um, I'm also seeing when you are very like true to yourself, when you're in your own energy, when you accept yourself for exactly who you are, um, when you accept that you are unique, that you are different and you love all those parts about yourself, then this person will be attracted to you. Very energetic. <laughs> Very, not, not very much in the physical, just a very energetic um, theme here. Okay, so next I'm going to get a little bit about the timing of this connection, as well as their astrological signs. 
Um, and I'm going to use the astro dice for that. So we're going to roll the astro dice and see what else they can tell me about your next relationship, who this person is. Okay, so we got 12, we got Cancer, and we got Mercury. So astrological signs could be um, Cancer, Virgo, and Gemini, as well as possibly Sagittarius or Capricorn, but more strongly Virgo, Gemini, and um, Cancer. I'm also seeing that you could meet this person in December, you could meet this person on the 12th of July. Um, you could meet this person during like a Mercury retrograde or something significant happening with Mercury. Could also be potentially um, June 12th or September 12th. Oh, and this person could also be a life path one, two, or three. So I'm seeing that in terms of like characteristics about this person, that this person could um, be very like this person could be very talkative they could be very good with their words um like i said with like the storyteller card earlier like definitely very charismatic definitely very good like at talking definitely can keep you like very entertained very entranced um okay with those performance messages from earlier it could be that like you guys are both kind of like actors or something like that in the performing arts and you guys meet each other there um because this person could definitely do that from what i'm seeing in these cards they definitely have that um, alluring energy that people sort of look for in those fields. I'm seeing that this person can be very in touch with their emotions or that they work on their emotions and that might be, or maybe you guys work on your emotions through being together. I'm seeing this person could, seeing that you guys could work on possibly even balancing emotions I'm hearing as well. Or this person could have very balanced emotions and have already done that work. Seeing this person could be a leader in their field in some way and can also be very creative. So next, I'm going to use this and I'm going to get some messages in the form of song lyrics that your person would say to you. So these are all song lyrics um, and they will just be a message to your person. Let's find out. What would your person say to you? What would the person who you're going to be in your next relationship with say to you? Okay, <laughs> so many. Oh, I only wanted to get one more. Okay, well, we will take them all. Okay, it says, you claim it's not in the cards and fate is pulling you miles away and out of reach from me, but you're here in my heart, so who can stop me if I decide that you're my destiny? Rewrite the stars, Zac Efron. And that's crazy because that's like, um, that's like a musical. So yeah, I'm definitely getting like performance for some of you guys. Like somebody here is definitely in the performing arts and is meeting this person there or is meeting this person when they become successful in that in some way. Um, I'm going to get all of them first, I think, and then I'll go back to uh, each one. We have, you know that I love you, I've loved you all along and I miss you, been far away for far too long, I keep dreaming you'll be with me and you'll never go far away, Nickelback. Okay, so this person could live at a distance from you, um, or you guys could like meet each other at a distance, so maybe you guys meet each other while on vacation, while traveling, um, or this person just lives far away from you now. Or maybe possibly after you move or go somewhere far away, you will meet this person. It says, the bed I'm lying in is getting colder. Wish I never would have said it's over. And I can't pretend I won't think about you when I'm older. We never really had our closure. This can't be the end better than me. Hinder. So I heard this person could actually like live somewhere cold while you like live somewhere hot, that kind of thing. Or you might move from somewhere cold to somewhere hot, especially like with those Hollywood like LA vibes. Like some of you guys are moving to LA from somewhere cold, I just heard, which is really random, but. Sorry guys, my candles spilt and spilt wax everywhere. So there's now some wax on some stuff, but I will continue. 
So for your next message, you have, I've got to move on and be who I am. I just don't belong here. I hope you understand. You might find your place in this world someday, but at least for now, I got to go my own way. Vanessa Hutchings and Zac Efron. You also got, don't tell me you're sorry because you're not. Baby, when I know you're only sorry, you got caught. But you put on quite a show, really had me going. But now it's time to go. Curtain's finally closing. And finally, you have, now they're going to bed and my stomach is sick. And it's all in my head, but she's touching his chest now. He takes off her dress now. Let me go. Mr. Brightside, the killers. Okay. So yeah, I'm definitely seeing that travel message again that this person might be far away or you may have moved far away from this person. I'm seeing for some of you guys it is a past energy, so somebody that you were with before. And if that's the case, then this person is really regretting what happened between you guys and is really hoping for a second chance. But you guys may have actually rejected this person and said, no, we're not getting a second chance, it's over. I don't want you anymore by the time that they came back. So I'm seeing that they could have broken up with you and then tried to get you back later on, but you were like, no, I don't want you back. I'm going my own way, I'm doing my own thing. Or it is possible that you broke up with them. With this one, I'm really just getting that, like, take a bow energy again. Like, for some of you guys, you guys are really going to meet, like, in a performing arts kind of um, scene. I'm getting that so many times. Like, I would be very surprised if somebody here doesn't do performing arts and does not meet this person while doing performing arts. If not that, then possibly while you're watching a play or watching a movie at a theater or something like where you're out and about watching something. I'm seeing it's possible this person is traveling right now and that they'll meet you after they're done traveling and that's why these two messages are coming up here. I'm seeing this person might like be the type to sort of get jealous and worried easily, be very protective so they like kind of imagine you with other people or if they're your ex they are imagining you with other people right now and it sort of scares them. I'm seeing that they could just like be very attached to you or like you a lot and this doesn't have to be a bad thing like as long as it doesn't go out of balance but maybe they do like like i said they could be um I'm not sure if, yes this is the one where i said they had anxiety yeah so they could um they could be a bit anxious that way where they do kind of imagine you with other people and get worried sometimes but that doesn't mean it's bad it could just be that they're protective um or maybe in the past they were controlling and they were really worried about you seeing other people and that's sort of the past energy but they've changed now it could be someone that you didn't get closure with, if it is a past energy. And I'm seeing, like, we had the storyteller card earlier. Like I said, you could have thought this person, like, lied to you or really made up stories or made you believe things that weren't exactly true with this Rihanna message here. Um, but again, that would be past energy if that is the case. You could have moved on from this person and dated somebody else and this person tried to come back into your life while you were dating somebody else. But this person, like, if they are a past person, I'm seeing that they realize now that, like, you were too good for them and um, they shouldn't have treated you the way they were and they're really sort of regretting their choices and now wanting you back and wishing that this didn't happen, wishing that they were more honest and they actually have made the changes to become more honest now. But you're kind of telling them that it's too late. They could have also left to sort of find themselves or you guys could have broken up in order to find yourselves. Could have been the energy as well. Okay, and for our last message, I'm gonna move this over here. I've just got some letters and we can figure out sort of initials in their name or different messages from the letters. Let's see, who is your person? Who are you going to have your next relationship with? So we have two M's. A P, a B. I don't know why, immediately when I saw P and B I heard peanut butter. So maybe you guys both like peanut butter. We have L, K, R and E. 
and an X. So yeah, this definitely could be an X for some of you guys. Um, and that's why those other messages were coming up. This is like an X that maybe you were on and off with or an X that you broke up with once, they broke up with once. Um, somebody that's really regretting letting you go. Somebody who's really worried about you moving on and finding another person. Somebody who knows that they did wrong, but um, still wishes they could have you back. Still feels like you're the one. I'm hearing the names. Um, I heard Michael, Marcus, Miles, Miley, Michelle, Caitlin, Chris, Merle. You can actually spell that name. Um, I see the word real, even though there's no A here. So maybe this person's more real now, more authentic. Maybe they weren't real in the past. I heard play with this P and L here. So I heard like two energies. One, they could have been like a player in the past. The other one that they're playful, fun. We have Burr, so names that start with like Burr, like Bernice, um, Bernard, Bernie. Becky. Bella. Lexi. Maybe someone draws a Lexus. Lucy. Lana. Larry. Pam. I heard perfect, so maybe something used to be perfect in the past. Or you thought that this person was perfect if they are an ex. Maybe you will think they're perfect when you're with them if they're not an ex. Or they'll be perfect this time. I see me. So maybe you decided to break up with this person so you can put yourself first. I see break, even though we don't have the... A, so maybe you guys took a break and then got back together and someone like kind of traveled during the break or ran and really found themselves. Emma is another name I got. Again, we don't have an A though. Okay, that's all I can see guys. I hope you enjoyed that message and good luck with your next relationship. Bye now.